all right guys how are you today so today we will just be um we'll be doing a bit of a tutorial um i've been getting a lot of questions about um pancake swap and creating tokens for liquidity so um me being a developer i thought what the heck let's make a video let's go check this thing out let's 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 just from scratch like create a token and, and get it listed on pancake swap now if you do have any questions about this guys i'd really appreciate if you leave it down in the comments below leave a thumbs up for the video if you want to see more videos like this i'll also leave a link to contact me if you have any questions but um yeah let's get straight into it all right guys so the first thing you will want him to be doing is creating your token that you will be listing on pancake so now for that we'll be creating a big 20 binance smart chain token um so what you want to do is you want to come to this site docs.binance.org i'll leave a link in the description and we'll be getting this file now this file here um scroll down a little bit here to where you see create new contract token here with like a link um you want to click that and it will go ahead and download this file and just go ahead and do that again so you can see it will download this file now we want to you can use there are some like other tools and stuff you can use i guess but i like to do it from this site just because you know you're getting like um the code is legit and um because it's coming directly from binance so um there will be like nothing but there are other more i guess um you're ready to use like um ui tools you could use but i like to do it this way since i know exactly i i have full control of my code um so um yeah once you have that file this file will contain our our code where we will be able to modify our token um and then what you want to do here is you want to scroll all the way back up um and click this link um remix that ethereum.org and this should open up um the remix editor now this is the editor that we'll be using to um, make changes to our token um so once you open that up you should see a, a a page like this let me just go ahead here and make a new one um you should be presented with a, with a page like this i was on already on here a little bit so that's why you saw that but um and what you're wanting to be do we'll be copying the code we'll be um taking the code from here this file that we downloaded and putting it in this editor so um what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open this up um you should be able to open this up with like um notepad or um notepad plus plus or whatever i'm just gonna go ahead and open it up with notepad but it should ask you what you want to open it with you can choose notepad um then what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and do control a then control c for copy up for to copy everything right and you can you can also just do like to copy everything but um control a control c works um then the next thing that you want to do is you want to create a new file um you want to call this this file will be the name of it this file will be the file that creates um that is the contract for your token um so let's uh you can name this anything but um you probably want to name it what whatever you'll name your token i'll be calling my token um alex coin so i'll just name this alex coin alex coin that sol where you can name it whatever you want you can also leave the sol and it will like add that um that solid and it will add that for you but let's go ahead there open this file and then i'm just gonna control v to paste everything from our file that we downloaded all right no sweet now we have um now we have our um we have our token code right our token contract now what we want to do um we want to set some things for a coin that are specific to our coin right like the name of our token and all this stuff so what you want to do next is you want to go down here and you want to uh skip the line 352 351 352 where you see token name token symbol decimals total supply um in in curly braces here now and what you want this is where we'll be able to name our token create it um say the symbol the amount of decimal place that we want and stuff like that um so what you want to do here for the name of your token um you want to obviously know what you want to name your token <laughs> and then you um you you just um put it um you want to put it in quotes okay if anything that's like alphabets you want to put it in quotes these double quotes here um so alex coin i'll call mine alex coin right and so i put that in quotes and for the symbol um you you can name it anything you want but and also for the name same for the symbol but you want to like 
um token names are typically like three um three to four letters <coughs> so you want to put three to four letters that will be easy to remember um like B like bitcoin is btc um ethereum is eth you want to put something that's like easy to remember for you and that will be easy to remember for um the people using your thing so again we do um we do quotes double quotes and then we do alc for alex coin all right and um that will be your symbol that's what we will put in when we're, we're ready to like find it on a um, site like pancake swap and all those other sites and um coin search or, or whatever um the next thing is decimals now again for here you can put whatever you want you could put um you could put one two zero um like you you put a number you could put any number you want but um bitcoin is big this is quite simply just the amount of um the how divisible your token will be so for example bitcoin can be divided um to the eighth i believe uh, let me just triple check that bitcoin decimal i think bitcoin, bitcoin is divisible yeah one satoshi yeah bitcoin bitcoin has eight decimal places you can put up to 18 right but um you can put up the, you can put 18 8 3 2 5 whatever you want it's all up to you for example like um regular dollars are like two decimal places so you have five dollars fifty cents five zero for two decimal places and you can have as little as one cent right so this is all about like how divisible your token will be bitcoin has eight decimal places so it's divisible up to um point zero zero you can have point zero 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 one bitcoin which is like one satoshi i, I think um so um this is all about how divisible your token will be um and so far you can put anything you want but i'm just gonna go ahead and put eight right this will this will only matter if you um want to like how many tokens you how many again how divisible your tokens will be so if you only create one token as like and that's your total supply then you will be able to have um up to um point zero 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 point zero 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 one eight as the smallest which means i think you'll be able to have like um whatever number that comes out i think it's like um 99 99 million right you have up you'll be able to have up to like 99 million coins um so um again all about how device it is you can put whatever you want if you're creating a to token and you want it to be more um more human friendly you maybe want to put like one or two decimal two or three decimal places just because that's kind of like what we as humans are used to um if you want to stick to the standard like go with bitcoin you can put eight if you want to be extremely extra you can put 18 um so it's all it's all up to you um now total supply will pretty self-explanatory total supply will be the total supply of our token um so for what you want to do here is you want to put the amount of tokens that you want to be your total supply so for example i will be having a thousand alex coins right um and what you want to do is you actually you actually want to put um whatever number it is that you want like for example a thousand you can put a million you could put 10 million you could put a billion it's all uh, like whatever you want um but then you want to add like um the amount of decimal places in zeros that you want so i put a thousand here and i'm just gonna add eight zeros so one two three four five six seven eight okay so i have all i have my thousand right and then i have my eight zeros right and that 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 that's like total supply i'm just like looking to make sure here but um and that will be like to, that that's total supply over token all right and this 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 no um balances that's fine you leave that alone and this um this here is like filling out all the information about our token and that's it that's all you have to do um for your token no no what we want to do is we want to get um get to creating our token listing our token on the binance smart chain now for this guys you will want to have um some bnb um some binance binance coin you will want to have some of that to, to launch your contract because um what you're doing when you're making this stuff when you're making a token is you're creating uh, a contract on the binance smart chain or the ethereum smart chain and um that contract is basically minting your token so you need some money to um to, to, to for transaction fees for the contract and um and also to, to mint it so um but the next thing you're wanting to be do here once you finish with all this here um you want to go to this next tab here um uh 
your compile your compiler let me actually check uh, can it, I should let me just do the right thing here you want to you want to select auto compile and you want to select enable optimization right and what that will do is that will go ahead and compile or coin that will compile our token when once it's compiled you should see extra more files here as well as a green tick here to say that it it didn't get any errors you want to click um when you click those so again you come here you just you you come you leave this tab once you're done editing you come to this tab here you click auto compile you click enable optimization um you um yes and that that will that will like just set this all of course now the next thing we want to do here um um is deploy or, or contract deploy our token right um so what you want to do is you want to come to this deploy tab which is the third thing here um come to this you want to select environment in environment you want to select injected web 3 um for this you will need a metamask account you should know what metamask is if you know what pancake swap is but if you don't know what metamask is metamask is just a wallet that you can use to store your um token so what you want to do here if you you did you didn't have metamask you want to go to metamask.io and you want to click download all right and metamask has a chrome extension it will bring you to a chrome page i already have it installed here but it's pretty simple you you go ahead you install it metamask will walk you through the steps of creating a wallet and then it will be a chrome extension for you um so once once i um once i finish with that uh which tab was i uh, right is that right, okay yeah, awesome um yeah once i finish with um once you finish um installing once you finish installing metamask and stuff you just leave it and then you come back here to your tab um if you didn't have it installed which i said you already did so if you did again you select web3 um it should metamask should pop up for you um asking you if you want to connect with the site basically it's just asking if you want to use this account make sure you're uh this will be this will be um the account that um metamask will walk you through the steps to create your account but right now it's like connecting to your account and this account will be the, the account that we use to like launch a token right so um you make sure you have some bnb in there right so like you're gonna need b i already have some bnb in mine um let me just go ahead and click next here to like connect it so it's connected so but yeah once it will so you'll set up um when metamask will launch will ask once you select this metamask will pop up you get it connected then you'll have it connected now you'll need some bnb for this so um you're gonna need to send some bnb from like wherever you are so if you if you trade on like if you trade on like binance or you have it in some other wallet you're gonna just need to go ahead and set up here send yourself some bnb or wherever it's in send yourself some bnb to your uh, your metamask address which you can find here this will be um up here in the top right where you say copy then that's like your metamask address um and from there you, you just go you, you you send yourself some bnb okay um no once you once you like once it, it pops up and you click um connect to metamask it should show up here your account um and basically like what you want to do from that guys this is the, what you want to do from that guys just click deploy all right and then metamask will pop up again it will ask you to to confirm the transaction it will, it's just be like a little bit um uh, a little bit amount of bnb so this is like 0.004 bnb which i think is like um like one dollars or some cents right just to launch our contract then we'll click confirm um you should see something here um something going on here and that should that should do it guys like that should put our contract on the uh the binance smart chain um with and mint our token all right so um what you want to do here um to see our contract right this 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 thing here is like our, our contract address you can see it here you just can go ahead here and click copy and it says um finally copied um to word then you can go to um uh BN, what is it bnf scan 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 something uh okay let's let's uh, uh i forgot the name right now but let's go let's go to metamask metamask is the easy way to see really so um once your contract is deployed you can go to you can open up back metamask and you can go to activity um then you can see the transaction that created the contract right and then you can go um you can psc scan obviously um you can um go to you can click this arrow here it will open bsc scan and you'll be able to see the transaction that created our token um 
So you see here we spent a dollar sixty two cents to create our contract. Um, and this is our contract address here. Okay. Right, this is our contract address, which is the same thing. Um you can go ahead and click copy. Um it's the same thing um in MetaMask here. You see nine five uh nine five right it's the same address all right so um and here you can see all the all the, our contract is minted now you can see all the um the information about our, our token right so our token name is lc stands for alex coin um it eight decimals thousand a thousand alex coins right um so right right here we right now and anybody that wants to interact with this um this contract here um they have like this address but right now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and see your tokens how do we see your tokens right so what you want to do here is you want to go back to metamask okay you want to click as you want to go back on the assets tab you want to click add tokens you can see i already made uh, one there you want to pay it you want to um copy your contract address from here or here you can do either one but you want to copy your contract address from here you go to metamask you want to do add token um, actually, can I delete this? Uh, I, 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 so you don't get confused. You want to click add token. You want to paste your contract address, right? You can paste, paste as plain, te plain text. MetaMask will pick up the symbol and the decimals and everything, and you can go ahead and click next. Um, then you'll see your balance, and you click add tokens, and then it will bring you to your ALC account, and your ALC will be in your MetaMask wallet, right? And that's that's it guys that's how we create our, our binance smart chain token now the next thing we'll be doing is adding our token um to pancake swap so um yeah just go ahead just um that's what we'll be doing next but uh pretty simple guys pretty straightforward um you go you go here you download the file um you go you open up remix you change the things here dm symbol decimal places supply um you come here you click auto auto compile enable optimization you connect your account then you click deploy copy address um you go back to metamask and you add um you add token um so um yeah guys that was it for creating a coin now we'll go ahead and, and list it um uh, for a listing on pancake swap